good everybody um i'm pretty sure you don't see already that i'm moving up yes so you can see all the stuff is moved to the front oh, i was kind of getting teary eyed just a little bit just a little bit when uh i was like realizing i'm moving out like uh, i'm moving out because i've been here so long i've been here like five years so. And I wasn't planning on moving either. Like I was not trying to move. I was just, I was just sitting and sitting in a um, freaking thing. And plus, I'm not. I wasn't working at time. I'm not working at time. But I need. To, I'm, I'm gonna update you on that. I am working right now. Um, I start work next week. It's our. Yeah, I start working next week. Um, I'm gonna be working every single day. I'm only gonna have one day off. So yeah, because I got to think about the deposit on the, the unit that I got to move into. Um, yeah, got to think about that. I got to think about moving, like transferring everything to that unit. Because I know the, the deposit on that might be a little different. They, they go based off the previous person that was staying there. And I'm like, why? Um, I'm not that previous person. Why not go based off of my experience and my the way I use my lights and my water because yeah so because when I moved into this house a long time ago five years ago the deposit was five hundred dollars for the light bill that because that was based on the previous person who was staying here how they were using the lights so he's gonna have to pay five hundred dollars but then when I moved in and I started using my lights the way I did they they deducted the difference to how I use my lights and you know how much it was monthly whatever so um that being said too man it's gonna be a stressful two months but i work well i work well under pressure i do i do because it's like oh i gotta i gotta get it done i gotta get it done so it's like ain't no time to waste i gotta get it done now if i have time you I, i'm gonna relax i'm gonna cool it i ain't gonna do nothing but um two i'm gonna try to get a car i'm gonna try to get a car next month i'm gonna try to hustle for that i'm gonna um uh, because right now my license is suspended because I was driving without no insurance. Look, it's survival. I did not have a job. I didn't have no way of getting to my kids to school. That is so stressful. And I had to, like, I had to. I mean, the world came to the end. Like, ain't nobody gonna think about car insurance. It's gonna be driving a car. So I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be um, trying to hustle, trying to get my car trying to get a car, trying to get my license fixed. Oh my God. Uh, you know, I can't say nothing. I mean, I put this on myself, but not really, because sometimes when you're going through something, there's no control over certain things that you're going through. And it's like, yeah. And also that I'm going to be, uh, I think that's it. Oh, getting the kids ready for school. Oh God. It's going to be really stressful. It really is. But then I got to try to get to work. And all that stuff and then I gotta think about also getting kids to school once I get to school then I gotta go straight work then I gotta come home it's gonna be rough the first month I know that much it's gonna be rough that first month so I see I moved everything up to the front I moved all the big bulky items to the front so I have an idea of what I'm relocating moving out of the house I still got more stuff to move that house is a mess right now, but I really don't care about that. I'm trying to get everything situated. The containers is where all the clothes are going to be going at. I'm going to start packing the blankets, the sheets, and all the stuff in here. And then this is the bag I'm going to leave out for, for my everyday wear, everyday use. So that way I don't have to dig into the containers to get my stuff out. Right now, I'm gonna be leaving the kitchen. The kitchen's a mess. It's always a mess, but whatever. Um, I'm gonna miss this design. Oh, I'm gonna remember this. I'm gonna remember this. This is so beautiful. I'm gonna, remember. I'm gonna miss this. And then I'm gonna miss this too, because I did this as well. Oh, look at that. It's beautiful. Gorgeous. Get it, girl. I know, right? My lunch room is a hot mess. I'm cleaning up, of course. I gotta move these um I gotta move the cabinets out the way out of here and then I gotta move this. All this is mine. 
even the washer and dryer, his washer and dryer is outside because when I asked him to come fix it, it was almost a month and I had no clean clothes. So I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go get my own washer and dryer. I told him it was sitting outside under the carport. So that's it. And yeah. So I'm gonna be, yeah, organizing and sorting out and getting everything straightened for the move. So this is one of the rooms I'm gonna have to kind of finish up because um, I had the containers in here, but I didn't move them in the front. So I got like two more containers in the bag. These are more clothes. Some of these clothes I want to donate. Some of these clothes I want to donate. I don't know what to do with that Christmas tree because I have nowhere to put it. Like pack it up and stuff. I need a big box, but I don't have a box for that. And yeah, the closet. The closet is empty, but I still got stuff in it to clean out to get sorted and then the toys are on the floor ah it's all good so when i work on this room i'm gonna get it done and all that good stuff their room doesn't need no work the only thing i have to do in here is get the this stuff out of here and then i got a what is this called a generator i got a generator that i never used so yeah, I'm gonna have to get some of this stuff out. I, I, realizing, I'm up here too, I got stuff, I got stuff everywhere. I just, so realizing that I need to, first I moved everything up to the front of the house. That's complete. Second, I gotta start washing all the clothes, which I am doing, that's complete. Third is we'll be taking everything down off the walls. That would be my next thing I have to do to get things down off the walls. Um, the curtains, the pictures, um, all that good stuff. And then after that, after I take all the pictures, after I take everything off the wall, I'm gonna pack all the little items that are like used to hanging around and whatnot. Yeah, then then after that I can still keep going from there. So I'm just kind of going with that right now. Um, I My upcoming videos that I'm gonna be showing you I'm going to be showing you uh, me kind of just packing all my stuff and uh, getting everything done and together. Um, also, I'm going to be showing you, uh, yeah, I'm doing the yard because the backyard is a hot mess. Well, when I show you uh, the backyard, um, me getting the kids ready for school, I got to get that done. So, yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. But um, that will be those videos and then once I move into my other house it's gonna be a house tour so yeah um uh let's just stay tuned for those videos coming up and uh I'll be yeah oh I, I, I realized something too I haven't done a morning routine or a night routine so I'm gonna try to do that before I move out of this house I'm gonna try to do that before I move out of this house because yeah so um, morning routine, night routine, getting them to school, me kind of getting this house together, and also me getting this house together before I move out. Alright, so thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope that, um, every, you know, you, you, you stay, you stay healthy, because I got sick not too long ago, and... It was not a good feeling. I could not get out of bed, so I figured I had COVID, and I did. And for everyone who's not wearing their mask, you know, that's your choice, but I'm going to be wearing my mask. I was one of those people a long time ago that was, like, iffy about COVID, but now it's, like, it's coming to me now. So, um, I just stay healthy, stay safe, um, be well, and I hope to see you again in another video, which I will. Okay. All right.